Hey everyone. Today we're going to be uh, going over my top five tips for daylight savings. For daylight savings related struggles. Should I turn this down? The first tip is to just go to sleep. Or if you're sleeping, to stay asleep, you know, if at all possible. Not feeling great, you know, like feeling bummed out because you've lost an hour or like you weirdly are affected by the fact that it's like almost eight o'clock, but there's still like sunlight outside. <laughs> Just close your blinds, put on your mask, your sleep mask. Go the fuck to sleep. Just go to sleep. That's tip number one, is to go to sleep. Tip number two is to just do what I did. And, um, hold on. Is to just do what I did. and buy a huge box of individual sized potato chips on amazon.com. And I did this while I was asleep. So I did tip one and tip two. We have four flavors, four flavors, sour cream and onion, Classic, classic barbecue, which kind of matches my outfit. If I had to be one chip bag today, it would be barbecue chip bag. Sorry. And then, if you're one, kind of hurts. Fourth, fourth and final and best flavor. I think this is the only reason why in my sleep state I ordered this box. Just to get little bags of salt vinegar chips. That's tip number two. And it doesn't have to be from Amazon.com. You can order it from anywhere, but it's obviously the easiest. So. Tip three is probably something we all already do, which is just what light a scented candle. <laughs> light a scented candle. Bitch. Light a scented candle. <laughs> light a scented candle. When you find yourself looking out the window and wondering why it's still so bright outside when you get up in the morning why it's still so fucking dark light a scented candle it can be a regular candle it doesn't have to be a scented candle but at this point i don't know why you're lighting regular candles unless you have like an actual holder and you're trying to go for ambiance but if you're alone and it's d daylight savings time and you're watching this video, I I don't think you're going for the mood, honey. It ain't about the mood. <laughs> There's gonna be some gems on the editing room floor, I'll tell you that. Tip number one, two, three. So we've gone, I'll do a quick recap. Sleep, buy a box of mini potato chip bags, while you're sleeping. You don't have to do it while you're sleeping, but it helps. <laughs> Light a scented candle. You don't have to do it with the long thingy. You can do it with a regular lighter or match. It doesn't matter. Tip number four is something near and dear to my heart. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint about tip number four. The hint is, it changed my life. 
That's right. Tip number four. Tip number four is just to read Dune. You can read the book. Or you, you can get it on the Kindle. Wow, that's another plug for Amazon. Put me on the payroll. Um, but yeah, I bought all of these. I bought the series on my Kindle. I love, I unabashedly, I unabashedly fucking love this Kindle. Tip number five. Tip number five is to just get drunk. Just drink. You don't have to get drunk, but just drink. Yes, just drink. Just drink. No, I mean, it's... It's been around for a long time. It's been around for a long time for a reason. Before It's actually probably before we really were telling time the way that we tell time with such specificity. And let me tell you, as a computer person, there's lots of different ways you can enter in time into the computer, and it's uh, fucking annoying. I find that you have, like, a divide. You, there's a divide. There's a divide between people who want to spring forward and people who want to fall back. And um, I'm more of a fallback person. That's why I'm making this video. <laughs> Just because I, I get up in the morning and I like to be able to see. Fuck you. Fucking ruining my routine. No, I mean, I just get up in the morning and I like to be able to see. So springing forward fucking sucks because it's dark as shit. Yeah, so cheers to, to another year, you know, 2021. It's sort of like, what's, you know, what's the, not what's the point, but what's the point? <laughs> That's going to be it. Those are my top. Count them. One, two, three, four, five tips. So those are my top five tips for fighting the daylight savings time blues. Let's recap. Number one. Number one is to sleep. Sleeping, which, you know, I wish I could do more of. <laughs> ah, ah. Two is to order, number two is to order a giant box of, order a giant box of individual sized bags of chips. It does help. I mean, it's helped me. It's not been very long, but it has helped. Number three is to light a scented candle. And a regular candle, not quite the same. I'll light a scented candle. Number four, perhaps, well, right, well, maybe there are levels of like getting more important, but sleep is pretty important, but some of us it's hard to do. So number four, you can do, and it will change your life forever. And that is read Dune. So tip number four is to read Dune. You can read it on an ebook the ebook platform of your choice. Whatever happened to the nook? What if that was like the opening line of like a stand-up comedian who just comes out like Whatever happened to the nook? Like there's some small group of like nook users that are still like writing their own software updates. <laughs> so the nook is like the shitty version of the Kindle. So truth will out <laughs> right anyway um and then number five tip number five is to just drink just keep drinking and it'll happen or it doesn't
That's kind of the rules of life. It will happen or it will not happen. El friendos. <laughs> um, cheers. Good night, good night, and good luck.